Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new F1 2021 League Racing video. Today we're back with PSGL for round 5 around Monza. Um, as you can see here on the screen, we're still leading this championship even though we didn't score any points last week around Monza after my strategy mistake to go on slicks um, when it started raining. Um, but the week before it did uh, work out. As you can see, Jake Benham now up to P2. He is 18 points behind, so we're still a race win clear of P2, which is good for us. Our teammate Danny Moreno in P3, Lucas Blakely, um, P4, Johnny Tomla P5, and Freddy Rasmussen P6. Uh, we're currently out for Q1. As I've already done a lap on the mediums, uh, which was an 18.6, but that's not going to be enough for um, Q2. So I'm out on a brand new set of soft tires. Uh, Alessio Di Capo and P16 behind us was looking to get into Q2 as well, of course. Um, the medium tires don't work very well around Monza, it's hence why... P1 is currently a 17.9. Hence why um, there's no way of making it into Q2. But I just want to do some laps um, on those mediums. Um, as I didn't want to use them in Q2 anyway or start on them. I really want to start on the softs because they are just a better tire. Uh, as you could hear a few seconds ago, my race engineer Sam say currently P1 is a 17.9. So I'm going to try and go faster than that, than that of course. Uh, out of the final corner, still three minutes remaining. As we try to take a wide line to start a lap for our first soft Q1 lap. Uh, DRS open. Um, I have filled up enough for two push laps in a row. So I'm going to do that, as I barely done any practice for this, um, due to practice for F1 Esports. Uh, as you can see there, the screen was a bit choppy. Um, I also couldn't stream this race, as I had lots of issues with the PC for some reason, or just with streaming and recording. Uh, so sorry if the quality is not great. Uh, it's going to improve for next week again. But um, as you might know, I moved to the UK uh, very recently, and... Um, it's basically just to focus on F1 Esports, so uh, every bit of equipment is different than what I have at home. So um, even though the PC runs 100% fine uh, when playing F1, uh, it's just during recording and streaming. For some reason, it's not working right. I've tried every single setting, but it just doesn't seem to really uh, work with me. Um, it's the PC we got from F1. We are forced to use a certain PC to make the... Uh, fields more equal or not maybe fields but just so that everyone has the same bit of equipment it goes the same for the wheel and the pedals um, so I'm not using my trustworthy AMD Copy. PC uh, I have at home but soon that will be my streaming PC so that will be an absolute beast of a streaming PC as you can imagine because usually I use it for streaming and playing at the same time as you can see there we went P1 with a 117.896 uh, and I'm straight away going for another lap because I just need to get laps in uh, due to the lack of practice. So uh, we're not going to use this set of tires anymore anyway. So I might as well pump in another lap and try to improve that lap time to the second chicane. Um, that second chicane, the first left or the left hander is very tricky. It sometimes it jumps you up if you go over it and sometimes it doesn't even though you take the exact same line with the exact same speed, which is very weird. But it is what it is. Uh, Nicolas Longe now fastest. Um, with a 17.7 into the Ascari scan. Very easy to invalidate rear, so we have to be careful. We're 8,000 uh, slower than Nikos Longe as we go into the, into the final sector. 1.8 tenths up on our previous lap. So it looks like we're going to improve on our lap time and go purple again as an Alp... Not an Alpine, I think it was a Williams. Getting out of the way at the final moment so we can finish our lap. Uh, it looks like it's going to be 117.71. Yeah, and that puts us P1, which is more than enough to get into Q2, as you can see here. Head of Nicolas Longe, Alessio Di Capua in P3. Home track for him. Piotr Stachulek in P4. Cedric Tome P5. Daniela Dat P6. Jake Benham, our championship uh, rival in P7. Uh, ben Sabo in P8, Tomek Porazzi is P9, and Fabrizio Donoso P10. Um, my teammate Danny Moreno won't be 
driving this race as he's in quarantine. As he moved to the UK as well, but he wasn't vaccinated completely yet, so he has to quarantine for five days. Uh, as you can see there, that's what I was talking about um, a few minutes ago, or in Q1. Uh, sometimes it jumps you up when you go through that corner, which is annoying, but it is what it is. We have to deal with it. I couldn't find a way around it, um, and driving around it is way slower. Second lap. Um, was all pretty neat and clean and into Q3 we go. I saved one new set of tires by only using uh, one set in that Q2 session. So we can go twice on new tires in Q3, which is very important. Nikos Longe, absolute banger of a lap with a 117.580. And Daniela that in P2. Um, so yeah, new tires now, Q3. And as you can see in the second chicken, again, I jumped up through there. Uh, so that's not ideal. Every time I go out, I fill up to do two laps in a row. And this is my second lap on that first new set of tires. And I invalidate it. As you can hear uh, me swear, I'm very frustrated by that, of course. Because now, all the pressure is going to be on that final Q3 lap. So we've got one uh, more new set of tires and basically two chances. As I fill up for two push laps in a row. So we can... Uh, give the best odds to herself in that second chicane. Uh, Dira is open. Um, we still don't have a lap time. We have to get at least one lap in. Uh, luckily we have enough ERS um, around this track to do two push laps in a row. And the same goes for the fuel as I've topped up enough for two push laps in a row. First chicane, a little bit of a slide. But still half a tent up on that lap that went wrong in the second chicane. Um, so that's an improvement into the second chicane now. Down to third gear. And again it jumps up. And into the gravel we go. Um, so I'm frustrated. Because now all the pressure is going to be on that final lap. And our tyres are not going to be as good anymore. Um, tire wear is pretty high around here. So um, not going to be easy to set a great lap in that second uh, push lap. Luckily we've only done one sector. Now through the first chicane we're half a tenth down on our last lap so not as good and now we need to pray that the second chicane go right um, breaking at 100 meters over the sausage and this time it does stick and as you can see delta go up immediately Nicholas Longway P1 with a 117.5 through Lesmo 1 bit of a slide on the exit and then down to fifth gear for the second Lesmo up to the DRS zone, DRS open and then we have to take a short line to Ascari, keep it smooth and pick my breaking point which is gonna be the start of that curb stone right there, down to 5th gear we don't invalidate this time around, we're a bit too careful I think so but we have to get a lap on the board here because otherwise we're out, or not out, we're gonna be P9 so it's really important we get this together because otherwise we're gonna be either start starting P9 or P10 into Parabolica, important to not run wide, run validate George I think to 6k, you can see I left a lot on the table there but we have to get a lap on the board now, up to the line is 117.7 and that's gonna be enough for P2 on the grid so very happy I got a lap in, it was not an amazing lap but it's enough for P2 and I'm happy with that because it doesn't really matter if you start P1 or P2 around Monza um, there's a long run into turn 1 so, uh, and uh, also the DRS is going to be playing a huge role in this race. So, um, yeah, strategy-wise, probably going to be soft-medium. Um, so we can play around with tire saving as well. Maybe stretch our first hint, or maybe we can go for an undercut. We will see. Um, Fuel-wise, we're going to go plus 0 0.7 laps, um, which is a bit of a risk because I had no idea what to go for, really. So, um, as you can see there on the screen, soft medium is the fast strategy. Almost three seconds faster than the soft hard strategy. Um, so, yeah, going to be interesting. Lining up on the grid now. Uh, I overtook Nicolas Longe on the formation lap, so that's why I was ahead. But he's going to be starting ahead, of course. Uh, we are ahead of Johnny Tormela. Wilson Huge, I'm not sure if I pronounced his last name right, uh, making his debut on PC. Uh, he's from PS4, he's a very fast driver on PS4, probably uh, the top driver on PS4 and he's moved, moved to PC now. So, gonna be uh, interesting to see how he performs here. Qualifying was good for him, because you can see he's in P4, so good job um, 
he did there. He's ahead of Daniel Haddad, um, Aston Martin F1 Esports driver. But now, let's head into the race. Five red lights and away we go. Very good initial start for us. Second phase is where Nicolas Longe was a little bit better. Slipstreaming down into turn one. I'm going to have to defend the inside here. I don't want to attack Nicolas into turn one. Uh, you can see screen is chopping a little bit there. So sorry for that. As I said, uh, I struggled this day uh, of the league race a lot with the recording. Uh, I still haven't figured out why, but I will uh, have it figured out. But into the second chicane, I decided to stay behind. Lift and coast a little bit as he jumps over that curb like we had a few times in quali. So... Now we ride with him into Lesmo 1. Um, but I decide to not attack and stay behind. I'm going to be saving tires this first end. Because um, the mediums are not great as I said. So I want to be as long as possible on those softs. As the screen is still choppy a little bit. But as you can see by the title. This is going to be the most chaotic league race ever. Um, so I'm kind of happy it happened uh, in this race. Where I couldn't stream and record properly. Um, second lap now, you can see I jump over the curbstone and I lost seven tenths. And now Nicolas Longe is out of DRS. So I'm gonna have to push really, really hard to get back in and hope that doesn't happen again to me because otherwise Nicolas Longe is just gonna drive into the distance. He is very good around Monza. Um, as Nicolas' his first Avon Esports race was around Monza, he straight away finished P2 in 2019. Uh, but the third lap. He has the exact same as I had the lab before. And now we're back into the DRS. So, um, yeah, that's very good for us. Um, as DRS is activated now, we're going to get it. DRS detection zone right here before Lesmo 2. And then we're going to get it on our way to Ascari. Using a little bit of ERS. You can see we're pretty low now, 44%. Oh, around, buddy. Uh, as you can hear Sam say, what comes around goes around. <laughs> um, so, yeah. We were unlucky the lap before, but we got lucky the lap after. So, um, yeah, let's uh, keep uh, saving up my ERS again, because we have the DRS, so we're going to save up my ERS, save our tires, and then we can pounce just before the pit stop phase. Uh, I think pit stop window is about to open this lap or next lap. So I think we shouldn't be surprised if someone is going to pit this lap to a new set of mediums. But I'm going to go for an attack on Nicolas Longe with the help of DRS into turn one down the inside he doesn't defend it because I think he wants to recharge his ERS a little bit as well before the pit stop phase so um, yeah now I'm going to continue save my tires so we can pounce uh, maybe in the last few laps of the soft scent or maybe stretch it uh, end of lap 8 now some people have already gone into the pits uh, at the end of lap 7 so they are going for the undercut and I decided to stay out and go for a very big, maybe not overcut, but um, if we stay out, lose track position, we can maybe get him or get the others uh, at the end of the medium stint. Nikos Longe goes yeah. down the inside and up to P1 he goes. But I'm going to stay out for longer. Daniela Dat and Nikos Longe pit the lap uh, or at the end of that lap. And um, now I'm going to stay out push now, because you can see Fabrizio Donoso is 6 tenths behind me uh, um, but I'm going to try and get out of his DRS you can see now, end of lap 10 we've gained 7 tenths uh, so that shows how much better our tyres are basically how much better we saved our tyres in the first 9 laps of this race so, that's amazing now we're out of the DRS, I expect Fabrizio Donoso to pit this lap, 1.4 seconds behind so he lost 7 to 8 tenths just on that lap and now, I, uh, I was thinking about maybe pitting end of lap 11, but in the end, I stayed out until the end of lap 12. You can see, I'm going to box this lap. We, were, we kept gaining time to the likes of Patrick Sipos and Jake Benham. Um, so I didn't really see a reason to pit yet, because the softs were amazing. But uh, in lap 12, they did drop off a bit, so I decided to pit and not stay out any longer. On to the mediums we go. You can see... Um, in the top left, the timings uh, are a bit weird. Uh, you can see I'm like one lap ahead of some people. Um, and now you can hear Sam say we have a serious chance of getting ahead of Longe. So that shows how good my pace was at the end of that soft stint. Coming out, we're definitely going to get 
past uh, or overtaken by Johnny Tormala and Wilson down the inside of Nicolas Longe. Oh but then what is going on? you can see everyone is ghosted and what? no one understood why. This kept on going for multiple laps. You can see now end of lap 18. Um, we kept racing, but it's a bit impossible. Uh, for luckily for me, uh, the recording went worse and worse at a point where the racing was not important anymore. You can see in the top left, I'm three laps ahead of Patrick Sipos for some reason. And I have no idea why. I kept racing, um, but at this point I already got told that the race was not going to count. I, I and then know. at the end of lap 21, um, I decided to retire because there was no point in racing anymore. Um, the race was cancelled, I already knew that, Sam told me. So I decided to come in, retire, and end the race. So that's a shame, I really felt like I was going to win the race with the strategy. But it is what it is, we just have to do better next week around Silverstone again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more League Racing content. And see you guys next time. Ciao.